In this video, we discuss the technique for repositioning the retina without the use of perfluorocarbon. In this video, shared by Dr. A. Sani Frederick from Majaya, Algeria, we observe a pseudophagic patient with regmatogenous retinal detachment. The surgery begins with anterior vitrectomy, followed by core vitrectomy. The surgeon uses triamcinolone to stain the posterior vitreous, facilitating the induction of posterior vitreous detachment. Since the patient had a superior retinal detachment with small retinal breaks, the surgeon opted not to use perfluorocarbon to reposition the retina. In these cases, it is crucial to mark the breaks with endocautery because once the retina is repositioned, it becomes difficult to accurately locate the breaks for endolaser application. Next, the surgeon performs shaving of the vitreous base and uses active aspiration of subretinal fluid through the break with fluid air exchange activated. It is essential to minimize the pooling of large amounts of subretinal fluid flowing to the posterior pole in such cases, as this can lead to incorrect retinal repositioning. Known as low integrity retinal attachment, improper repositioning may be associated with poorer postoperative visual outcomes. Endolaser is applied to the areas of the superior breaks, and the surgeon completes the surgery with a non expansive concentration of C3F8 injection. This patient had an excellent functional outcome, and the OCT showed a normal foveal contour at three weeks, with only small peripheral foveal outer retinal folds that resolved over time.